What is ethical cheating? Well, my goodness, it's the kind of cheating that you can justify. It's like honor among thieves in a way. And let's apply that to the academy, to the university or college environment. Many, many students feel today, and research is showing this, that their college experience is not preparing them for the real world, or at least for the world of work. So that they're trying to do is get through their colleges as fast as they can, ideally with minimum expense and bother, and get on with their living, their so-called real world lives. And one expression of that is that they will pull things off the internet, cut and paste in term papers. They will do a lot of things that ordinarily would be regarded as uh, unethical by faculty, for example. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe if your educational delivery system is failing you, you are best, best justified moving on beyond that system and doing something that every knowledge worker already does today. And that is find every bit of information you possibly can that's relevant to a problem or an opportunity and convert that through intellectual transformation into alternative decision-making options. That's what these students, I think, need to learn in college. And that's what they're trying to learn to a great extent with ethical cheating. Although I'll admit, in some cases, cheating is not ethical. So one way to look at this is if your college is legitimate in its treatment of you as a student, as a learner, as a future member of the knowledge workforce in any country, then you're going to be kind of locked into it and you're, you're going to do what it tells you to do mostly and you're going to be, you're going to be happy to be a quote, good student. But if you perceive that you're not getting what you're paying for in college, that you are not being prepared to be competitive on a global scale with the emerging workforce of which your demographic is a part, then you may be quite differently oriented and be willing to do a lot of shortcut, uh, uh, create a lot of shortcut steps to get you out of the system with a degree as fast as possible. So, bottom line, if you want to be an ethical student, even if you're practicing ethical cheating, you have to decide what you want from college. If you just want a degree and you're willing to cheat your way through conventionally to get that degree, then you are a cheat and there's nothing to be said for you. But if you are saying to yourself, my college is not really serving me, I can do better by myself or with my peers or with a, a sort of a global network of students all over the world who are working together, then you are an ethical cheater and you're trying to beat the limitations of your college in order to, f to further your future. So my bottom line is if colleges and universities really want to serve people, students, ethical cheaters, regular students well, they're going to have to shift to a laboratory model away from a classroom model. They're going to have to shift away from information downloading called curricula and we're going to have to move toward meaning creation called the production of knowledge, and we're going to have to move toward the application of that knowledge in innovative ways.